Hi, I'm Carrie Lawless, and on today's listing for profit, I have a really big challenge behind me. This is a great house in a great neighborhood, awesome school district, but this house was listed for six months and did not sell. So they called me to figure out how we're gonna get it done. Oh my God, this is picture day. I am so tired. I was up all night painting and doing all these things. And it's crazy that we're painting a frame and we've painted furniture today. We are painting a bathroom vanity, but this is what you do when it just doesn't come together. So at the 11th hour, we're pulling it all together. <laughs> minute things this was uh, yellow oak and I hate yellow oak and I was gonna let it go the photographer is gonna be here in like an hour but I can't take it so I'm using this really awesome Waverly chalk paint awesome awesome uh, this is so not how you do it I'm just whatever dumping it on the brush because I don't even have time to go find a container but it is going to be beautiful excited to show you this house so we got photography done and it just went on the market and we're already getting calls for showings which I thought we would because the house came out so good and the pictures are great so in the front here we had so much work to do oh my goodness there were two big flower beds that were just didn't really match the style of the house and they were just kind of cluttering up the front yard and it kept you from seeing the really pretty house. We added shutters and we painted them a really neutral color that wasn't too far off from the color of the house because we didn't want them to stand out too much. We wanted it to be subdued and really pretty and I like how they came out. So we didn't really do too much with these gardens because we spent so much getting the other ones out but um, the other thing we did was we painted the trim. Behind me, this was all one color and I really wanted it to stand out. I mean, they do this detail work and I think it looks great. And then we also painted the little pieces above the windows. I like that too. So when you drive up, there's way more curb appeal. The other thing we did was on the side of the house, there were a couple of doors instead of the garage door, two sets of French doors. And in a neighborhood like this, people really, really want a garage. So we converted that back to a usable garage. Now, I'm really excited to show you my favorite part, which is always the inside. So come on in. Here we are in the foyer. Love how this came out. We got a great rug to warm it up. We needed some color. We have like this sea of beige. So we put a blue rug here, which I thought was really nice because it picked up the blues that are in here. This was a table I had. It was light and it was kind of reddish. Wasn't really a fan of the color, but I painted that and put some decor here. And then we have a dark light fixture here that also is in the same family as the light fixture in the dining room, which I think looks so good. So in here, we went ahead and did the dark espresso table because our chairs had the dark legs, which I love. Here, I love the colors. And then our rug has very similar coloring in it. And so I think it all really came together. Uh, love this living room. So in here, we had a sofa and love seat. Before there was a lot of furniture in here and it was just really too much. Everything was completely taken out and we came in with everything brand new. Um, so we did the sofa and love seat and it just looked a little bit, I don't know, like it just kind of blocked everything just seeing the back of the love seat from the foyer. So we put the nice little table here and just decorated it a bit. Then, oh, we needed a coffee table. So Holly was wonderful enough to find a $10 coffee table for me. It was so ugly. It had a lot of chips in it, but for $10, I was willing to work hard on it. I filled it in 
and then I painted it. Um, I've waxed it, I need to do a little more distressing, it's gonna be even better, but I mean, what a great deal for $10 and maybe, I don't know, five or $10 worth of paint. Great, great deal. So over here, we went ahead and put two chairs. We have a lot of warm tones in here, but I wanted to use the gray. So what I did was I found pillows. We actually already had these, we've used them before, and they have the warm and the cool tones in them. That brings in the warmth of the floors, the walls, the sofa. And then we also have this lamp here, which has the burlap kind of you know, rustic feel to it. So we just did enough of warm and cool to bring it all together. I think it turned out really, really good. So let's check out the kitchen next. What I love about this kitchen, it has a massive space here that was originally designed to be a small dining and a small keeping area. I felt like since most people don't want their dining room disconnected so much, I felt like people would see possibilities for that dining room if I made this absolutely huge. So I took out the two light fixtures that were here. I had the electrician put one wire here. So we've got an eight person dining table here. This could easily fit 10 or 12. And then if somebody wanted to use the dining room up front for an office, close it in, an extra bedroom, a guest room, they can do anything they want with that, which I love to show possibilities when I stage. The other thing I love is this is a double-sided fireplace. And so it's very warm and cozy and people can imagine themselves really hanging out in here for holidays. So how great is that? I love how this came out. I think the kitchen was a big part of why this house didn't sell the first time it was listed. So I came in and made suggestions and the first thing, of course, we had to paint the cabinets. They were yellow oak. We painted them the same color as the trim, which is what I normally do because I feel like it blends better instead of having two different whites. So, and the other thing was there was so much contrast between the white cabinets and the dark granite. It, it was just so distracting, which I knew that it would be, but we had to find a fix for it. So what we did was we went to Home Depot and we found some tile here that I think it was like 588 a square foot, which is such a great price for this mosaic type tile. It's glass and stone. What we did was we ripped off both of the types of backsplash there and just went with one thing. What I love about this is because it's got darks and lights, it actually from a distance makes it appear as though this color is in there and it brings the lights and the darks together and gives it a more cohesive feel. So that was super important and the difference was night and day when it was all said and done. I added these two pendants. I really love them. And I was trying to go with a more of a farmhouse kind of feel. I had these two bar stools and I added those in. So I love how these came out. And they're similar enough to what's going on in the breakfast area. So it gives us that feeling that we were looking for and then we just topped it off with some decor. So I think this came out very well. Let's move on to the bedrooms. We're in the first bedroom, which was actually used as an office, but it has a closet, so it is truly a bedroom. And um, this is a smaller room. So what I do in smaller rooms is I always use a twin size bed and we just went with something just really neutral. Um, we did, in all the rooms, use the 108 inch curtains because that's so important to me to give that illusion of greater height and that's how you do that. You go all the way to the ceiling. And then we just had this cute little desk that we put in the corner. So there's not a whole lot going on in this room. What I do like about this twin size bed is if someone has children that are young and need space to play on the floor, it shows them that there truly is room in here. So on to bedroom number two. This is bedroom number two. I like how this one came out a lot better. We've got color on the wall. This is very beautiful. I'm thrilled with how this came out. And um, that's about it. On to the next one. All right, now this is one of my more favorite rooms. I like it because it has a lot of color. It has a lot more going on in terms of end tables and lamps and um, just a lot of texture and things like that. So I like to do a mix of two different types of rooms. So if people have kids and they need to see that there's enough floor space, I like to do the twin beds. 
set it up like a day bed. And then I also like to do a mixture of this. This is more of an adult kind of setup where you don't need a whole lot of floor space. And that way, no matter what people need, um, you know, in terms of kids or, or more adults or whatever, they can see that there's space for whatever it is they need. All right, on to the hall bath. Now, um, we didn't have to do a whole lot to this space. It actually had a light fixture I liked. The vanity was all fine. Um, we just added, I did take out the mirror. It was a very builder grade, so I got a wide mirror here, which I really like. Um, I took a 108 inch curtain that I love, put it all the way to the top so it gives that feeling of height again. And then we just added a few little decorations all around. But it's cute and it's clean and I think they're gonna like it. Now, um, on to the master bedroom. I am so happy with how this room came out. And I was very concerned with this room because we had the yellow oak floors. I wasn't really sure what we were gonna do with it. Um, but and it's really crazy because I wasn't really a fan of using this very cool blue gray. But in the end, we mixed our cools and warms so well that I think it's actually better it just it kind of fills up the room instead of having just like a single tone we did the nine foot curtains all the way around and then added a little seating area so that shows the potential buyer that there's a lot of room in here and uh whatever they need it, they'll be able to fit it in this room it's such a good size so on to the master bathroom and so in here i'm really happy with how this came out so what we did was added this picture, which I've had this picture for, I don't know, four years, never could find a place for it. This was the perfect spot. So there's always gonna be a perfect spot for something. And this happened to be it. And then we found this blue vase to bring all of this together and fill up that corner. Oh, we did replace the mirrors here and we got these beautiful mirrors from Kirkland's. I love how they came out. And one more thing, we took the, this shower behind here, not a fan of the shower. So I just got our, again, nine foot curtains and put them all the way at the top with a shower rod, just a tension rod. And at least it covered it up. And you know, people are obviously going to look behind here, but what I love is that it shows the potential buyer what they can do to camouflage the things that they don't like so that it won't be a deal breaker for them. They all know that it will still be very beautiful. So we have one last space and that's the little powder room. I'm really pleased with how that came out. So let's go look at it. This is the powder room and I really like this room. I did not like it so much starting out, but I love it now. So um, what we did, these were oak cabinets and Originally, we were gonna have the painter paint them. Then I had to negotiate for that tile backsplash that I showed you earlier in the kitchen. Had to happen, so I had to start scratching things off the list. I was gonna live with the oak, and then the day of photography, I could not stand it. So I broke out my chalk paint, and I actually just painted it myself. And I like it, I'm glad we didn't go with the white, because I wanted to contrast this anyway. So we have this really adorable mirror. It's gray, it's got the white wash on it. So I thought, okay, gray chalk paint, right? I, I swear, I think it took me, I don't know, it was a few minutes, it wasn't much at all. And I even chalk painted the hardware and I used a couple of different colors and then just, you know, distressed it a little bit. I love how that came out. I didn't even have to buy handles for this. This was such a good deal. So it turned out great and uh, we just put a few little decorations and that is it for this house tour and i just want to say like staging is so important so if you want to get the most money when you sell you have to stage do the little things yourself um like if you can't afford to get somebody to paint your cabinets get out the chalk paint and paint them yourselves it works it's great you have to really protect them but these are things you can do. So, you know, when it comes to buying a house, people buy with emotion. They back it up with logic, okay? Because it does have to be a logical decision, but when you're talking about a place that somebody's gonna live for years, they have to like it. Make them fall in love with it, which is what we're gonna do here. So I can't wait until we start getting the feedback from this place. I love it, and everyone who's seen it so far loves it. So I think it's gonna sell very quickly. So please subscribe to our channel. We're gonna have a ton, ton, ton of great content coming up. You don't wanna miss it. And click the little bell so you will get a notification when we do get a new video. Thanks so much for watching.